Hey guys, Marcos Vieques here, being joined by uh, Mr. Mark Munoz here at the Rain Training Center in Lake Forest, California. Mark, it's uh, been a long time since fans have seen you. I know you've been out for a year, yep. and uh, reading in the press, uh, it's been up and down for you. Uh, I know uh, when you had your elbow injury and you couldn't fight Chael to get that number one spot, you uh, were really bummed out, really depressed about it, and then you kind of fell into that again. You know, talk to me about that whole process of how you were able to, to get out and, and why even you went back into that sort of depression. Last year was a very adversity-stricken year for me. And I, I didn't, I'm not a guy that, that, that gets into depression. Like, I, I don't, I'm, I wouldn't, you always see me smiling. Like, that's, that's me. But, but when I had to pull out against Chael and then have him see him fight and go be number one contender, that kind of, that got to me a lot. And so I came back and after I got 28 bones taken out of my arm, I came back and they, the UFC wanted me to fight and I accepted the fight against Chris Weidman. Accepted it too soon. In the process, kind of hurt my foot and just thought, you know, maybe, maybe I'll, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just a little injury, I'll be fine. Turn, goes, after the fight ended, I actually broke my fifth metatarsal and was fighting on a broken foot. So I haven't lost that fight and then get the news that I end up breaking my foot the way I did and still having a bad elbow, that kind of just, that news with the broken foot was the straw that broke the camel's back. Mm -hmm. And then I, 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 I went to comfort food, man. Yeah. You know, I, I'm not a guy that, that drinks alcohol or does drugs or anything like that. I don't party, but... Um, but I, I went to I went to eat all the comfort food, man. Like I I couldn't train for six months. Mm -hmm. You know I, I need to heal my elbow. I need to heal my foot. And and a lot of people always they were critical of, of me. Like okay, why is Mark shooting so from so far away? And and you know they were so critical of, of my fighting style because you know I wasn't able to do what I'm what I'm capable of really. And so now finally I took a year off and been able to heal my foot. My body's healed up. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling great, you know. And now I'm like in the best physical shape right now, and and I feel that there's the best version of me is going to come out July 6. Was there a point where you thought it you wouldn't get better? Was there a point where you didn't really see hope? Talk to me about that point. You know what? Yes, there was a time where it was very difficult for me when I lost, and then I went to the doctor, and he said, you know what? You're probably going to be out for another year. Not. In, not because I couldn't fight, but because every time I fight, I make money. Yeah. And I got a wife and four kids. I own this gym, which wasn't, wasn't profitable at the time. Now, finally, we're in the black. And it's, it was just, it was, it was hard for me, you know, um, because I was putting in money. I was investing in this gym because I, I, I love this gym so much, you know. So every, every, every penny that I end up getting, I put back into this gym. And so I needed to fight, you know. I wasn't, I wasn't the type of guy that, oh, you know what, you know, I, I'm, I'm cool, you know. But I needed, I needed some cash, you know. Yeah. So, um, so having said that, when, when I actually was going through all that stuff, it was very difficult for me because I, because I'm a man and I have to provide for my family, and, and that right there just in, in itself was, I felt like I wasn't, I wasn't. Uh, being a man, you know, yeah. so to speak. So uh, that was difficult. And then um, just had to find different ways. But, but in that year, man, I learned so much about myself. It gave me a new perspective. And now I can actually look at people when they say they're going through depression. I can look at it with eyes of compassion and be like, you know what? I went through the same thing. And this is how I dealt with it. Yeah. And it was a process. It was, it was a slow process. But thank goodness for all the guys here at Rain Training Center, you know, um, Todd Norman at Velocity and Irvine, you know, Sam Calavita, Riley Ross, like all these guys were rallying around me. My wife and kids, they, they, were, they were just amazing in, in my whole journey to, to come back and be myself. This whole training camp, I saw pictures of you before, and uh, you're telling me you weighed 260, yeah. and you're, you drop down, you look really lean now. This yeah. training camp, was the hardest part losing weight, or was the hardest part getting your timing back? The hardest part for me was, um, actually it was a combination of both. Yeah. When I was 260, <laughs> I didn't want to do anything. I just, was like, I came in, it was extremely hard to just, 
to just get something to 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 get one round in. Yeah. I was carrying a lot of baggage, man, and it, it was it was hard, man. A lot of extra weight. My back was hurting. My feet were hurting. My knees, my joints, everything. So I just had to like grind through that and and kind of get through that first initial like month. Once I got through that, everything started going downhill after that. Mm. So um, so yeah, just getting the timing back after that was extremely hard because everything has to change man when when you're that heavy i mean you you actually are slower your timing's off you got to be able to like um find different ways to to be able to execute things but i started getting it back after a month yeah. after a whole month i lost like i lost a bunch of weight I, I think i lost like 30 pounds fighters in general come off long layoffs they usually want to prove something to show to people you know hey i'm back look at me and it yeah. tends sometimes i'm leads them to brawl kind of in a way to get like a spectacular knockout you coming in you know how are you going to keep those emotions in check and, and how do you want to strategically approach tim inside the octagon yeah that's a great question for me i i watch i watch tim and he's very strategic in his approach and has a game plan and he sticks to his game plan very much um and after a year like i said i'm gonna put the best version of me out there and I see my tendencies. I'm a brawler type guy, but I'm very technical at the same time. So I, I'm gonna mix those two together, but I'm not gonna stand toe to toe with Tim either yeah. because, because I gotta be strategic in my approach as well. And um, you know, I have, a, I have a great game plan against him. And I'm definitely, you know, I've been game planning a lot for him uh, up to this camp. I've had seven months to prepare for him, you know? Mm -hmm. and. And I, I knew, it was, I had in my mind that it was probably going to be Tim, but I didn't know until about three months before the fight. Mm -hmm. So um, actually I was four because he, he wanted to push it back uh, one more month. But, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to incorporate some stuff, man, some yeah. new things that, that I've learned in this camp. So um, he, he's a very resilient, experienced fighter. He is strong at 185. He's definitely big, you know. So, uh, so I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm looking to, to, to take advantage of, of my strengths, and expose his weaknesses. His last fight, were you impressed with that at all? And do you feel that he brings something that you haven't seen before in an opponent? You know, he he fought Costa Filippo last fight, and I think there was something wrong with him because, um, because there was something like he, he was pulling guard. And he never pulls yeah. guard. And I, I found that kind of weird. So there was something wrong with him. So that, that, that fight wasn't indicative of what he, what he does. Yeah. So, but uh, but he, he, he's very elusive in his movement. He uses funky kicks to kind of set up some takedowns sometimes. Even he, he, he landed a kick again. Costa dropped him, uh, that, uh, that front kick. So, uh, so he's got a great style, man. Like he, he possesses a, 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 an unconventional style that you can't really train for but um, but I don't look for I don't look for what he does necessarily I look for how he sets it up and then if if I can see how if I could be aware of how he sets things up then I'll be able to I'll be able to counter with my with my offense and not really worry about what he does looking at at the card it was a prelim card and then it got bumped up to the main card and, and me you know you've main evented cards before you've headlined cards before and i found that kind of odd that you're on the prelims and i want to say you know your thoughts on that you must be happy now that it's on the main card yeah. but just overall how'd you feel about that yeah i just, you know when i first when i first got on the card i was as high as co-main event and i was like oh they're putting me a co-main event cool then i got down then i got pushed down the kind of uh third fight till the main and then they said they wanted me to be the feature fight on fx i'm like Wow, it kicked me off the main card, but I can understand that too. I was in my head. I was thinking, okay, I haven't fought in a year. They want me to come back and sh and kind of you know showcase whatever I have, you know. Um, and then put me they bump me back up onto the main card. So um, you know, for me, it, a fight's a fight. I, I want to be able to show uh, show them and and everybody else like how how I've developed during this time because. Everybody knows that I had a very tough year, and I want I want everyone to see how how I can bounce back from from adversity. Adversity is the dust that polishes a diamond, and 
without adversity, you can't fully know how tough you are. You can't fully know how resilient you are. You can't fully know how, how you can come back from, from something that was so tough on you, you know? Your character is tested, your faith is tested, everything is tested through adversity. And, and I, just wanna, I just want people to know that whatever adversity that you're going through, that you can be transcendent upon it and rise above it and be successful at the end. I'm a, I'm a walking testimony of it. Just me being 260, going through depression, just eating my way up to 260, I mean, I mean that in itself, me being healthier right now, that in itself is success. But, but now to top it off, me getting a win and getting back in the title hunt, that's what I want to do. That's, that's my desire. That's my goal. Is to is to get back where I where I want to be. Do you see now? You know, you're having to start from the bottom. Is like kind of like your your redemption time in your career. You know, now it's yeah. starting back over again. You know, do you see it as that? And to add on that, do you get frustrated? Like, dang, I'm back at the bottom. I was this close, like so close to to getting a title shot. Yeah. You know, I don't see myself as being to the bottom, but there's been a lot of parity at the 185 division, middleweight division. A lot of guys have lost. That, that are top fighters and then there's guys that are coming up that were just bust into the top 10 so there's a lot of parity you know I've, I've I'm in the top 10 still and I haven't fought for a year yeah. you know so it's just like you know I, but I do feel that I have to prove myself in this time I do feel that I have to I have to win and I have to win convincingly in a dominant fashion to get my name back into the title hunt and, and that's what I'm expecting on doing that's 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 I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna look to dominate, you know, because I'm hungry, man. Yeah. I'm hungry. I I want to I want to showcase what I've what I've been preparing for and and how how hard I've been working, you know. And so when people see me, they're gonna be shocked and be like, "Whoa, he physically he he's looking awesome." And this is all natural, grass fed, no TRT. GMO, no TRT. <laughs> like this is straight up me. Hard Jesus. work and dedication, and Jesus, <laughs> in Jesus' name, that's this is all it is. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm I'm uh, I'm excited to to kind of go out there. Actually, not kind of, but I'm excited to go out there and show hard work really truly yeah. pays off, and and that that I'm gonna go out there and and just kind of blow everybody's mind, man. And that's that's what I want to do. Well, hard work and dedication, that's what Floyd says. And you've put in the hard work. You look great, Mark. Can't wait for your matchup. Thank July 6th, this man right next to me coming back after a year layoff. Look for him going up against Tim Bosch at UFC 162 here in rain. Marcos Vegas for Fight Up TV.